Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon Guard 2. In the last episode, we uh, began to fly towards the district of Shining or Soul Flame. Look at this fog. I can't see a thing. This isn't any normal fog. It reeks of evil. We do well not to stay here too long. If this is a district, then the people live here too. I guess they do. Oh, no. It has nothing to do with us. Legna, listen. No, I... I know you're a dragon. Eris, are you alright? Yes, but I've lost contact with Sir Zangpo's forces. He must have gone ahead into the district. Let's go after him. Right. Alright, so... We're gonna slaughter monsters in the district of, uh... District of uh, the Soul Flame. Yeah, you have to be on Legna for this. I don't think you can drop down because of the mist. Anyways, I was talking about. Oh, look at that level up and learn Legna. Anyways, I was talking about um something in the last episode about packs, and I didn't really get a chance to talk about that as much as I wanted to. But uh. Alright, so reinforcements arrive at, let's secure the district. Now, in this area, we're going to be looking for... We are going to be looking for a certain weapon to get. I will get it, don't worry. Anyways, so, packs, like I mentioned last episode, they are more of, like, a... Like, they lo people lose the ability to do stuff, rather than, like, uh... But then again, rather than, like, a physical attribute, like seeing or talking or, or being able to have a child... And, um, the interesting thing about that is, I mean, I guess Inuart lost his ability to sing. That was, like, the most favorite thing he loved to do. This mist, it's sapping my strength. So, I don't know. So now we have to destroy these, uh, these, uh, uh, like, geyser things. And we only have a certain time limit to do, as you can see, the blue... The blue area. Um, the blue area. Uh, this is our time limit. We have to destroy uh, the thing. Time. So yeah, you want to hit L2, and you'll slow down, and you can actually the hit. The mist is billowing from that rock formation, Legna. Can you stop it? There we go. Anyway, so Zangpo we don't get rid of this mist. We're done actually for. was just a regular schmo until uh, until he uh, made a pact with I want to say like a salamander or some sort of fire creature, and he lost the ability to uh, eat or taste food anymore or enjoy food or some some shit like that. Because apparently he was like super duper hungry all the time, and he loved to eat. Then he made this pack, which supposedly makes people stronger. Their reinforcements are here. Let's kill them before more arrive. I'm assuming that they do make them stronger. So now we gotta go fight ogres in the mist. So we gotta take on some ogres in the mist. Anywho, so yeah, Zangpo, he lost his ability to, uh, eat, um, I think Yaha, that guy, well, I won't give away what everyone's, uh, pack thing was, but, let's just say that, I wonder I don't know. if anyone would live in a place like this. Let's just say that I'm not a fan of the, the packed, the packed, uh, packs in this game. Although, I think, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think the one that Kaim had in the first game was kind of a cop out not to have the um, not to have the, the you know main character talk too much. Like seriously, he had like what? Maybe like uh, twenty lines at max the whole game. And where the hell is he anyways? Anyways, now we just I you can't I think you have a time limit in order to kill the troll guys. I'm not going to. 
There's an area I want to check that seems fairly suspicious, and I will check it. But let's, uh... Let's fly over here. Take out an ogre or two. And yeah, there's new enemies here. They're called Goblin Shamans. And they can, uh, they can heal their, uh, their over buddies, or anyone, in fact. Any of their buddies. And yeah, I need to get off now. Let's take on the guy again. Hit him in the head. Don't let him wail away at you. And when they do that red attack, that means it's a charge attack. You either want to get out of the way. Or there's actually a couple moves that will let you... That will let you, um... Uh, what the hell is it? Stop that charge attack, but I don't know what it is. I think we, they'll show us how to do it a little later. I know there's a thing called guard break or something. There we go, dodge him. Look at those bastards, they killed the guy for me. Anyways, let's go. What I want to do is I want to take this pathway. I want to take this... Oh, there's a treasure chest. Yeah, it's a good idea to check if you see one on the ground. You might as well. I love the fact that how seam it feels like this game is a little more seamless in the essence of having your dragon, you know, being able to mount and dismount Legna almost at any time. It seems very nice. Anyways, we're gonna go in this uh this cave here. Yeah, now that we didn't we didn't defeat those ogres in time, more reinforcements show up. But then again, I think it's just because I went in this cave that this disappears. We're too late. There we I could give two shits, Eris. I want the treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to you when I get to you. Yeah, so. This is the district of Soul Flame. Apparently, people live here. So I guess the Hierarch Verdele, he um, he he uh, made the seals, or he tried to make seals. Uh, oh, son of a bitch. He tried to make some new seals. Cause you know how we had like there was. I know there was a seal of the forest or something in the first game. There was a seal of of, uh, water. There was a seal in the desert. But I don't remember what that one was called. There's a bunch of seals. Some of them were, uh, we got a long sword, awesome. Some of them were, uh, just optional. We didn't have to go, like, Ariosha's and Leonard's. We didn't have to actually go to. And as you can see right there, blue, you know how we're hitting them and it's turning blue? Well, that means that our weapon is actually weak to whatever type of monster they are. But if you hit an enemy and it goes in the red, then it means that your weapon is strong against that whatever monster you're fighting. So that's pretty cool. Right? I'm not sure why I brought out ears in this part. Someone can explain to me what the little, like when you go into your, um, you go into your combo screen or your weapon screen, and there's like a little picture next to it. You see how there's like pictures over here? Does anyone know what that, those pictures symbolize? Like, I think they mean like some, I don't know what the hell they mean. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. I think it means something like... Like, an, every attack sort of has an a, an attribute, like one of them will be like a, uh, oh, this one, you know, breaks through guards, this one stops, uh, power attacks, this one does this, this one might paralyze your foe or some shit. I don't know, so, if you guys know what the hell those are, for those of you who have played Drake too, you know exactly what they are. This is one of those games that does have a little higher replay value, because I, I want to say you have to go through it three times in order to get all the items. But the nice thing about um, going through the game the, the second time 
Obviously, I believe you keep your levels, you keep your items, you keep your weapons. What else do you keep? Basically, levels and, and weapons and all that stuff. And I'm not sure if the game does get a little bit harder or what, I don't remember. But as you can see, the Knights of the Seal aren't taking any damage from Lightness Fire. So, just use it all you want. With reckless abandon. We gotta take on some undead swords. The ghosts to me. They are no match for my holy spear. Yeah, so they're just kind of saying how each enemy is strong against a certain monster, and yeah, if your attack does more damage, it'll be in red, and if it doesn't, it just goes in blue. And yeah, so no way is no good against the undead. I mean, he's all right. No way, obviously, is the uh, average guy. I guess. Anyways, no way is kind of like the average guy, the main dude. I mean, he's... I, I think I mentioned this. He's our main character, so he'll be with us the whole game. So if you want to change to other characters, be my guest. I'm probably just going to use no way just to use him for now. There'll be points where it'll just be no way, though, in, in battle. But then again, I think there's other people, too. There'll be more people to show up. Go. And now let us switch over to let's use this. Yeah, use uh use your items uh as much as you want in this part because the Knights of the Seal will uh restock your items. That won't happen all the time. Though. They'll eventually be like buy your own shit. Although they should friggin' pay for it. I mean, we're in the Knights of the Seal. I don't know, does the army pay for, like, equipment for the soldiers? If so, then they totally deserve it. So let's show you this. You see how we're hitting them by, like, we're hitting them by, like, 50s, 30s, or something like that? 20s. But we'd be hitting them by less if we had, uh, no way. probably want to use the Robber King here. The only reason why I'm using these old, outdated weapons is just to get them, level them up, and get the story. Because the story... Actually, you know what? I think some of the stories are the same from the last game. The stories are still kind of messed up for the weapons, but they are... They're a little different. Some of them might be a little different. I can't remember. Apparently I killed one of them, or somebody killed one of them, and it's hard to beat these guys because you want to hit them from behind, or even on the side, but the friggin' charging and all this shit, I don't remember them being this hard. You know what? Give, uh, give Kaim some credit, man. He was more a competent warrior than these guys. Here we go, we beat him. I feel how I feel very inexperienced fighting these guys. It's like if Kaim was here, he would kick the shit out of these guys, no problem. There we go, wonderful. The Knights of the Seal are here. I must inform mm, what them. What are they talking about? So our mission is complete. We did it. There's nothing left to stop us now. The Soul Flame Key should be ahead of us. So, 
Lieutenant Zhangpo is the guardian of another one of these keys that rob people of their Sorry. lives. But in the district of Shining Life, I don't remember there being any guardian. Why is that? The guardian of the district went missing. I don't know exactly what happened or mm. where he went. Right. It looks like Lieutenant Zhangpo has gone on ahead. Let's go. Yeah, Zhangpo, uh, he's a super un... He's pretty unreliable. I'm not gonna lie to you. He doesn't seem like a good lieutenant. I think the only reason... And we get the soldier sword, which is better than, um... No way, sword. But yeah, I'm gonna say Legna. I mean, not Legna. Zhang Po feels super unreliable in comparison to um, you know any of the other people right now. I mean, the thing about him is like just because they have a pack doesn't mean that they're capable of handling anything. I mean, look at Inuart from the second game. I mean, I totally understand where he's coming from in the essence that. On the safe fury eye, he didn't have enough power, he made a pact with a dragon, and, uh, you know, in the end, uh, the Watchers corrupted him, or they broke his fragile spirit, and made him, uh, made him turn into something he didn't want to be. Because I believe in the end, Inuart did You're want to, uh, be for the be party, a good guy. children. I hope you weren't loitering. My apologies, sir. Our way was blocked by the fog. Oh, yes, that fog is a damn nuisance. But we have to get inside and make sure the key is safe. Yeah, we do. Right, you lot. Go on ahead and be quick about it. What? You want us to go in there? Walk through yes. the fog? Lieutenant Zangpo, you can't. It's too dangerous in there. They are the remnants of the Empire. They poisoned these lands. And now, they have a chance to atone for their sins. They should thank Maybe us. They should. But the war with the Empire was years ago. We can't keep nah. punishing them. Insolent boy! Hold your tongue or else! This is my land and you will not question my authority. Please wait. Who's this? Some lady? Lady Manor. <gasps> it's well, Lady I mean, Manor! It's the same it's one her. from... It's Lady Manor. From the first game? I mean, she she did end up living. Oh, she's got the red eyes. I bet you that's the same mana from the first game. So now she's all grown up. I wonder if she's still as psycho as ever. Well, we'll have to find out. I have some knowledge of the black magic arts. I will go inside instead of these people. Will that be acceptable? If Lady Manor's going, then we Apparently will too. She grew up, she got an English accent. That woman, who is she? It's thanks to her we have such an abundance of martyrs. Saved us a lot of work, she did. <laughs> martyrs? You mean sacrifices, don't you? No way, that is enough. Not in front of the Lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess Man is going to go in there and figure out what the hell's going on. But of course she's not. I don't think she's to be trusted. I mean, shit. First game, we didn't trust her. She was a psycho. They're late. She, has a, she needs a love like hey? a mace or something. Oh, what was that? An earthquake? Look. I think the fog is lifting. It must be that woman. She's done something. You two. We have to get inside those ruins. All right, so we're gonna have to go in through the ruins of the soul of the flame thing in the next episode. Bye bye.